Okay, I see a whole group of mercenaries. Council Halt. Okay, we do not have, I do not have potions. mechanism of this ore is tarnished though recently oiled some of the levers show signs of meddling the plaque to the side bears the mark of a hand swiping the brush away the dust let's read the plaque Bacarna's folly search the observatory unlock Bacarna's ore Bacarna if you're reading this You've forgotten again. You blasted your mind a bit trying to describe Bacarna's clarity thought. I'm sorry. Never doubt yourself. Your years of research were well spent if no one called you Archmage of Danism, even if they laughed. I know you remember the legend of your favorite Juana constellations. Uh oh, the Huntress. When you need a little confidence, see the coordinates of the Huntress, the three stages of her tail to this Ori. You can do more with half a brain than most competent wizards. So get back to work. Love the car. If I don't survive our adventures, promise me you'll burn all my books. He's blushing. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to need to read those instructions again. And I don't think we have all the, the books. There's supposed to be three of them. That's a hell of a long way down. We need some potions, though. Um, you must gather your party before. Okay. Right. Okay. Um. Yeah. Wow. We are really out of everything. What do we actually have? Yeah, I'm going to need to craft some. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, we are too short on supplies. I have to go get some more potions. All right, let's leave. I believe I only have two of the <clears throat> two of the quests to the the text the hunters there's supposed to be three of them Scott records the text of the Juana constellation legend one passage has been underlined donning her bandolier hunter sets out from a village she pauses on a hill to survey the path ahead. Okay, so she pauses on a hill to survey the path ahead. When the fog thickened over the pass, Huntress let out a piercing whistle. Call for the kingfisher, who hovered between her eyes, whispered of what lay ahead. But I don't have the third clue. And I'm sure maybe it's here. Let's 
Physical blessing. Cult of Sanguine Harvest. Excerpted from the Legends Aeor by Amaya, scholar of Ruatai. In all my travels among the islands of the Deadfire Archipelago, I have heard tell of no cult so feared as the Sanguine Harvest. All that is known of them is here same rumor. Based on this, I would be inclined to conclude that the Sanguine Harvests are little more than a story. But how is one to explain the disappearances of innocent kith around the 16th of the month? What may have befallen these poor souls is dismal indeed. Those few I spoke to who claim knowledge of the Sanguine Harvest would swear to me that they received it second hand. And they had this to say. On the 16th of each every month, the sanguine harvest chose one unlucky captive to kneel before the altar and become fodder for a cable of vampires. Through this act, the leader or grand harvester empowered a fearful soul-draining great sword. To what end the grand harvester then puts the sword is unknown. The cult members are harvest cantors then dance around fire in a state of mindless ecstasy and joy. Excuse me. They clothe themselves in robes of black edge and red, and on the robes is an image of a large dagger cutting three chips in half. Sounds too ridiculous to believe, does it not? <gasps> Excuse me. And yet I wonder. all the text there. Keeping quiet. That looks like something. Mm -hmm. hmm. Will do. To start here, ah, uh, uh, battle-worn grimoire, only usable by wizard. Ooh, the freezing rate. Same spells, I guess we'll understand that. There's no difference in this grimoire. Grim allows wizards to temporarily borrow 
druid priest or wizard spells a seventh level or lower. Steals a level seven or lower spell. Oh. Wow. That's very interesting. Wow. Wall of many colors. Oh, prismatic sphere. Prismatic wall. Hmm. Petrification. Target has their own flesh transmuted into stone. Target is near death when the spell is cast. There's a chance of petrification when you burn it. Wow. Console halts corrosive skin. A bastard. from that torn baron man I wonder if he was stealing spells from Archimedes capricious X yeah right Got it. This volume records the text of a Wana constellation legend. One passage has been lined, underlined. The huntress leaped from her boat in time to see it split in half as the Leviathan brought down its mighty tail. Uh -huh. So we have all three books. We're still going to have to deal with it. Console hot. He'll never let us leave. Bakara hid something important when the orrery at the top of her research station. The device has a mechanism for entering coordinates of stars in the night sky. The plaque on the orrery or 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 controls meant something about a, a huntress and three stages of her tail. Perhaps all. Four parts of the story can be found somewhere in the observatory. Okay. Okay. I can locate the hunters in the night sky by searching for a bandolier of stars using a telescope. Constellation of Constellation Fisherman situated between a pair of especially bright stars. I'll need to use the telescope by the Ori to locate. The Leviathan constellation can be found above a cluster of stars resembling a canoe. Three stages of her tail. So. I think Consul has it. He has the other part. I have not seen that. Uh, Be cautious. <clears throat> Be constant. It's there. What does that say? Talcoff petrifying ink.
so I think I need Calcoth Petrifying. Oh, look at that. So, I have not seen Calcol Edge Buying Inc. Who the heck is Calcol? I wonder. Hall has that then. He has to have it. Who is Calcon? Anyway, we need to go back to Nekataka. We need to uh Eyes open. Yeah, we need to get some more supplies. Let's go there. We need to explore the Explore the islands around Tikawara. Okay. Triangle around Tikawara. Come to realize that this is where the real Let's game take a look. is. It's like a mage.
fire, got a bunch of couple fighters. Backstabber. Careful. Look. I see him. Um. Now. See if we can get him. Of course. Oh, back off. Back off. Quick. And he fires. Okay. So what I want to do is get as close as possible. Now, um, knock that fool up right there. Get you to working on him, Edder. No can do. What happened to you, Edder? Okay, Zena. Okay, so I'm done. Perfect. It's paralyzed.
beyond me. Would be a no. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's beyond me. Nice job, Airlaw. He's damn near it's a ghost, too. More power. I put him out of his misery. Lava.
What can I do you for? That miss. I'll land the next one. Oh, thank God. Oh. Yes? Take them down. Oh. <laughs> this thing isn't doing the job. Very helpful. Damn thing, I'll be a ghost by now. Yeah. <laughs> He's disintegrated. He disintegrated. I think this guy was a uh, bounty. Mm, I've got it. Ah, I hate some potions. And a lot of coin. Flesh mender. What the hell? This armor is made of cured deer leather of the most peculiar variety. A ranger harvests the skin from a carcass of buck she discovered while poaching the woods of her lord's estate. The animal quite dead, showed no signs of injury or disease. Grateful for a good fortune, the opportunistic ranger is about skinning just in. Proved impossible, though. As the ranger separated hide and sinew, she observed the deer's skin growing back before her very eyes. 
Ranger skinned and cut, collecting enough material to cover half a dozen animals. The carcass always regenerated for its steam condition. Foreskin investigate this seemingly endless source of flesh. More closely, the ranger was driven out by the Lord's game warden. She was able to carry only a fraction of the take she harvested. Later in her life, she tanned and tooled what later leather she had. It was no easy task as any holes or punches closed themselves in minutes. Stitching was similarly arduous, but the ranger was eventually able to construct a strange regenerative armor lost when hit. Wow. Five health to restore per 12 seconds. Hmm. Wonderful. Ammon of greater health. Plus 25%. Weather mage. Oh. A lot of weather spam. On it. Check something. Kill Tahe South Nekataka. Okay. Turn the Cora. What do I say? Take the stairs. Confront Katrin. Child is sick of staring and kill Katrin. She only freaking the statistic at night. I can't wait to do that. Harboring. Oh, okay. It's way down south. Oh. Steady does it. Points on the compass. What? No ra- what? What? No rations? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What? What the heck? What happened to all our water? Hold on a second.
Okay, there we go. Had me worried. Where you expect to find a small Wano village is instead a pile of rebels. Several large pits run down its middle. As you near, you realize the pits are in fact the footprints of a kid. Must be as tall as a mountain. <laughs> Must there might be something in the records for its salvage yet. Okay. Find some fire kelp. Now we're supposed to that form a triangle around it. Okay. What's it been the poke of Kohora? You know, a small pavilion containing a large weather statue, stone a little ways off, appears to be one of okay. protein identifier. It's the most right. Okay. It portrays Rikuhu, the one that is rendition in bearer. The inscription runs along the base. Some plea, others fight. Rikuhu consumes them all. Pray at the shrine and rest. You know, for the shrine whispering, your prayers to the cool stone, but don't answer, but you feel calmer as you rise to your feet and it's about making camp. Yeah, let's pass. More, more, chant. The choppy seas stretch towards the horizon. Captain shouts, There's something on to the port. <laughs> Off of the port side railing, you see a dark shout rising from the depths. Sound like a horn blowing underwater. Two powerful jets of spray ripped from the. <laughs> we doubt the beast's mind. Thoughts swelling within feel more complex than the infected of a beast. None of the blank coldness you have sensed from fish. Its mind is not as advanced as the wilder, but the creature certainly boasts more intelligence than a horse. Um. Identify it. Um. Okay. Bowhead, maybe. A wallfish. Well, either way. We'll let the creature bats in peace. One of the sides the crew resumes its duties tail on. And it seems good. Great Beast keeps pace with the ship for several hours. Its song seeming to vibrate within the very planks of the divine. El Engrin hums quietly along as Brito tosses bits of food to the creature. Vanis, he says, they don't eat heart attack. Huh, <laughs> good chuckles. Ship sails on. 
Morale gain, 10. Crew earned 231 experience. <sighs> Two sailor. Yeah, you don't hurt whales. Whales are mammals. See the island. Whoa. Here and knock at the door to your quarters. Not long a seat when Beodol appears at the door, wiping away and sweating with the rat. Begging a pirate of the captain. We've been at sea a while now, but you've not been in a state fit for speaking for most of it. Sail so glanced over his shoulder and back to you. If this crew is going to be taking your orders, you might want to make a proper introduction and never know what you're about. Are you saying I've got something to worry about? No, Captain. Just traditional social things to do. Hey, gather and dress the crew. Fabio calls the crew to get on deck. A small group of sailors hangs languidly in front of William. Perch on crates, sits against the rail. Eyes turn to the edge of the the deck. Welcome aboard to the fine, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Eagle Arcade Mule, your captain. Glad to have your Captain Oswald Price listening nods from several other crew members. Nico smiles at you from above cross arms and Ellen claps slightly. Plan to run a clean ship. We're not pirates and we're not raiders. Aye, Captain Oswald cheers, sparking and chuckling. It'll collapse and let's keep joining, smiling and nodding. Alright. Little Luca step forward. Pardon me, ask Captain, what exactly is missing in the dead fire? Trail of destruction and despair in his wake. Up to set things right. Cross her arms. I'm not about to go against my God. But I can't hurt to alleviate any suffering that inadvertently results from this mission. El Ever whispers a prayer, but now it's all the same. Middle says for it. It's a good work done well and coin well fully earned. I will tears done made smile not. El M okay. Well, okay. Crew splits up. Return to the duties that the ship, your ship, sails on slices through the bright blue water. 
of the dead fire. Good God, here we are on land. I can smell the brimstone from here. Best be careful. Shadow Veil. What do you mean, I? The Shadow Veil. The land here is shattered and barren. Eerily quiet with jacket hillocks. Plunging abruptly into the calm, clear seas. No birds fly above. You do not spot the first boar, rat, or lizard. By comparison, the camp ahead positively bristles. Horses are tied off the stakes. A robed figure, cow pulled over his head, sits upon its crate. Scent of a heavy, hearty stew, hot waste from the pot hanging over the small campfire. Mm. Thoughts? All right, first we get into the good graces with carrots. They brush out their manes. They look mad if they're not our friends by then. We'll go back to the carrots. <laughs> Tensling is on our horses. All right. Let's uh, sneak up on the camp. I'll be sneaky. Okay. Keeping a little behind the road, figure. Make your way towards the campfire. You pass the first time. Absolutely assured the silence of your movement when a savannah folk levels an Albert's at your head from the left. Not another step. Almost more menacingly than the bolt threatening to add another hole to my head. Okay. A leaf elf in a deer and finally steps from another tent. Greetings, stranger. She smiles welcomingly. As a broad shouldered island mood joins the man with the crossbow, you note that the robed figure hasn't moved an inch. Who are you? The Darren still smiling, can't her head slightly to the right. Who is anyone? Her words ring melodically, almost harmonizing with the sounds. Who are you? I'm Evil Arcade Nua, Captain of the Defiant, formerly and still the Watcher of Cad Nua. Island's Nua lips curl into expresses someone between Grimace and Grimace and many things besides, no doubt. We're not here to cause trouble. The other woman bows slightly at the waist. Brown hair falling over her face, loose curl. In that case, who are we to keep you from our company? Please join us by the fire. Justice to the camp. The trio guides you among the tents. It seems too many for the few kiths you see about. Elf graciously offers you a seat at the fire. The robed figure makes no apparent notice of your arrival. The cowl casting their visage in impenetrable shadow. We have soup. Stew, really. And you're welcome to make use of our tents if you care to rest. <laughs> Who's your hooded friend? One laughs lightly, just that. Perhaps you should ask yourself. 
approach and look under the hood. You approach the figure who makes no move. Each step you take closer is yet somehow also further away. The crossing seems to take minutes. Campfire falls away to your periphery, yet you cannot stop. Bending low, you peer on the hood into the face within. Hi, Mogarin. Bending low, you <laughs> to the face, a hairless face with a pale gray skin. Thin lips, a narrow nose, no eye sockets all. Hmm. What in the name of whales going on here? But just smiles, his mouth curling in corners, figure stands. You shudder, know the ground shudders. The air, the dirt churns beneath your feet, your stomach leaps to your throat as the ground opens up beneath me. I plunge into darkness. When we wait, the ground is bare, no tents. No horses, no traces, even of a campfire. What the hell was that? 